Okay, welcome back to this fourth video in this series. In this uh, video, we are going to continue from where we stop, and we are going to add the access route that is this, and also we will also add the not arrow, and then probably before we end the video, we add uh, this uh, uh, borderline to the plan. So let's go back to AutoCAD environment. So first of all, let's start with the access route. So depending on whatever the access route is, you will simply need to offset this line to that uh, dimension. Assuming the standard access route of this uh, in this region is 10 meters. So it means we need to measure 10 meters from the survey plot boundary and then make up the access route. So to do that, there is a tool called offset. And this is how the icon looks like. And then from the description, you can see what you can do with it. So you can offset a line or a cycle to be parallel to each other. So let me demonstrate how to do it. So if you, can, if you cannot find the icon on your tools bar, you simply type in offset, just like that on the command line, press enter. And then on the command line, it's now asking you specify the offset distance. So we set 10 meter is the width of the route. So we type in 10. Remember, we have set our drawing unit in meters. So you just need to type in 10 and then the drawing environment will understand that you mean 10 meter. So press enter. Then the next instruction is to select object to offset. So this is the object we want to offset. We want to offset this line to 10 meter. So click on it and then specify the point on site to offset. So I'm offsetting it to this side, 10 meters. So I click and then you can see that I have copied the line to 10 meters from the survey boundary. So offsetting is more or less just like copy, but at a predefined dimension. So here I have copied the, copy the line and then this is the access route. So I can easily copy this text and then type in access route there. Remember, select the text and then type in copy, then click on the text, then move it to wherever you want to paste it. Then type, press enter to terminate the command. Then I will now change this text there to access access route just like that so i can select it and then move type in m and then move it to the bottom a little bit so this is the access route so but there is another thing i would like to do i would like the road to extend a little bit because the road doesn't stop at the edge of this plot so i, I would like to extend it a little bit to indicate that the road still continue even after the plot on both sides. So to do that, what I need to do is to extend these lines. So and to extend the lines, I need to have an imaginary line here to extend this line to. I also need another imaginary line or a temporary line here to extend extend this line to. So I will use a line or polyline, anyone you want to use. Since we have been using line, let me use polyline. So to use polyline, you just type in P line, PL for polyline, then enter. Then I can now click just somewhere here, and then also click somewhere here and terminate the lines. Then I now use to I now need to use the extend command. The extend command is usually found when you click on this small uh, arrow this but if you cannot find it there just type in extend on the command line and then press enter then extend to boundary edge so this selects object to extend to or shift to trim so to extend to this edge 
you just you just need to click click until you get there you repeat the same thing you click you click and then it will get there if it gets there you stop so that is our imaginary line or our temporary line we are extending to so repeat the same thing to this just click and then it will get there then you stop there so when you get there you stop there so when you are done you enter then you cannot delete this temporary line so you simply select the text and then press delete button on your keyboard to delete that temporary line so that is our access route then the next thing we would like to do is the i'm going to do the not direction not arrow so in some cases in some ministries they would like the not arrow to be placed on one of the control points or one of the beacons or the starting beacon uh, so but in this case i'm not going to do it i'll just put it in a convenient space in some cases they will say they will say the not arrow must be on the right hand side or in some cases it must be directly over one of the beacons so but that is not important here i'll just place it on this left hand side somewhere here where there is enough space for me to draw the borderline so to draw the not arrow i will use line line then since i want the line to be perfectly horizontal that is this vertical one this vertical line I want it to be perfectly vertical. What I will do after picking the line command, I will now enable this restrict cursor orthogonally. So if I on it, it will restrict the cursor from going in angular direction. It can only go perfectly horizontal and perfectly vertical. So I can pick my beginning of the north direction maybe from here. So you can see I cannot draw the line in an inclined manner it can only be perfectly horizontal or perfectly vertical so i can pick my line here if i want it to cross this point i can shift it to cross the point what this is just for demonstration sake i don't need to bother myself with that so i think this height is okay so i'll click it and then terminate then now since i want the line to be inclined i need to off the orthogonal mode auto mode so I need to off it. Then repeat line. Then I will now on my old snap so that I can snap to the edge, to the tip of this line. So on the old snap, then go back, click. If I click maybe to somewhere here, then I can now on my orthogonal on so that I can achieve a perfectly horizontal line. Then click maybe somewhere here. Then I can now terminate my drawing. So I can off the auto mode and then off the Osna as well. So what I need to do now is to trim this edge out so that I can copy this to this and then have it perfectly the same uh, length. So what I will do, I will use the trim command. So type in trim, trim command, then select the part, select the line you want to trim. I want to cut off this edge so I click on it to trim it off then terminate the command then copy this little line select it and type in copy then I will own my old snap click here and then copy it here terminate the command I can now of my old snap hour let me leave it on so that i can draw this line to join these two so line again and i can click here and then draw it here now i cannot terminate it so this is my not arrow i can also copy this text so select the text copy click on it then move it to the top of the arrow terminate the copy command 
double click and then type capital N. Then I can now move it to centralize it. Let me off my boost now and then type in M for move, then centralize it on the not album. If, if it is too small, I can increase the height. Maybe text height, let me take it to two. The text height, type in two to increase it. I can also move it up a little. So there is no any standard rule as to how to draw some of these things. It all depends on how creative you are in using the AutoCAD commands. So feel free to use whatever combination of tool you want to use to achieve your result. So that is that. Then the next thing I would like to do in this video is to draw the borderline. That is this line that forms the box around the entire plan. So the next thing I need to do is to draw the borderline. So I can easily use a rectangle to do this. So I, can, I will type in rec, rectangle, then click somewhere here and then make a rectangle on the on the entire plan so note that i'm leaving some space above and below the plan so that we can enter more information later on so i can now zoom to extent to see the entire plan so we can always adjust whatever settings whatever object we we drew for example, like this rectangle that we need to trim it off and reduce the size. And then later on, we are going to do, we are going to adjust some of these things. For example, like this bearing, it is touching the beacon. So we can reduce the size of the, size of the beacon or reduce the, uh, the text of the bearings and distance. Or we can even use a line to point to this line and then put in the bearing and distance on that line. So the possibility is endless on how you on uh, do some of this. So what I'm just giving you here is just a, a guide to give you an idea of how these things are done and you can build on it to do your own uh, customized uh, survey plans. So for this video, we have come to the end of what we needed to do here. And then in the next one, I'm going to continue with adding some other elements for the plan. So see you then.